All right, all right, another day, another worker, and we are hitting that 80 kilo bench. Boom! So, today, our topic of the day is how to actually be stronger in the gym. And I was talking to a mate the other day um, about this because a lot of people were like, look, I'm going to be reliant on pre workout, caffeine. And sometimes, even though they have their pre-workout and caffeine, they feel like their muscles just aren't working. So that's why today I want to help you guys um, basically highlight some of the things I'll actually have and some of the things I'll do to ensure that I'm actually feeling strong in the gym. Because through all my power program, you guys will have seen me um, having to hit some big weights in the gym. And it doesn't just happen... Um, just with me just jumping in the gym, having a pre-workout, that's not it. There's a lot of things that come into play and a lot of preparation that goes into this to ensure that I perform at my best or, um, you know, hit my submaximal lifts when I train. So most of you that have been following me for a while would know this, those lifts. So now I'm going to show you how exactly it is done. So I want you guys to stay tuned with me and enjoy. So it's starting off, of course, with my bench press. I always warm up with my antagonist muscles, uh, which are the opposite muscles, which actually help me because when I am you doing a bench press, what is going to stabilize me, for instance, okay? Right now, my antagonist muscles, so the opposite muscles, my upper back and even my lower back is going to stabilize me when I get into my arch position, okay? So this is just um, the warm-up exercise bit. Now, let's talk a little bit about three big tips that are going to help you guys stay stronger overall, not just on bench day, um, on squats day, on deadlifts day, how do you feel stronger? Okay, and the first one is sleep. And I know this one is probably the one that a lot of people don't get enough of through the day. Now, if you don't recover well enough, how do you expect your, your muscles to actually perform at the maximum range? Okay, now, in order for you to get enough sleep, obviously, I know most of you don't get eight hours sleep a day. Um, they say an athlete should get about to be in bed for at least 10 hours and even getting about six hours deep REM sleep is essential. So these are just um, some ideas. And I'm not saying you guys are all athletes, but you guys, if you want to be at your best, you got to train like one. You got to train like and do what athletes do. So sleep is important. You can break out your sleep in the day. It doesn't have to be six to eight hours straight um, you can have some naps in the day catch up on sleeps on the weekend but it is important for you to ensure that you get enough sleep it is number one it is super important okay number two is your hydration now i know most of you would know um, about creatine creatine does help with hydration and restoring your cp creatine phosphate stores okay now, there's a few things that come into play when it comes to hydration. Now, electrolytes, okay? Now, me drinking actually a lot of water continuously with no electrolytes in my system is actually going to dehydrate me, okay? And I know this because a lot of people use that in competitions, how, um, how they lose water. A lot of fighters will use that as well too, to lose water, to make weight, okay? So, drinking water alone is not enough to stay hydrated, okay? When it comes to hydration, ensuring that you actually are getting your electrolytes in. Now, some of these electrolytes and um, other things can actually be responsible for your muscle contraction. So, this is very important. Your sodium, everyone knows your calcium is also responsible for muscle contraction. So, we obviously need these things when it comes to our training if we want to perform at our best okay and these these little things over here can be a massive game changer and of course your pre-workouts also um will help you with caffeine they'll have citrulline malate they'll have b, b vitamins which actually help utilize your carbohydrates so let's talk about carbs 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 why are these actually even in play okay now carbs is your third one your nutrition your muscle needs glycogen stores not just for power in the gym, like I am doing 106, 150 kilos here, but also for muscular endurance, okay? So your your body and your muscles actually eat up these glycogen stores while we are working. So they rely on it predominantly, okay? Now, how do you get your glycogen stores? The easiest way is to get them through carbs, carbohydrates, okay? And so you guys can, like it, when we look at a muscle group like chest, okay? Chest is not a, like a massive muscle group. I mean, my name's anyway. It's in between, like, you know. So my glycogen stores, or my, so my body is actually very reliant on the glycogen stores that I need. So it's not going to be storing as much glycogen stores as much as because glycogen is stored in the muscle, okay? So let's say a glycogen is fuel. So your body, your muscles in your chest are not going to be storing as much fuel as your legs, okay? So 
this is where it's very important and I want you guys to listen and very be very pay attention to me. You're going to notice that the days that you actually carb or load or have more carbs, okay, that obviously you need to give your body enough time for it to reach those muscles and store in there, okay? You're going to be super efficient when you're training your um, your chest or smaller muscle groups like your arms, you're going to feel stronger or your shoulders, you're going to, or delts, you're going to be super strong. Now, it's not as effective as when you are training legs because obviously your, your legs can hold a lot of like glycogen stores, okay? A lot of glycogen in your muscles. So ideally, even if you weren't carboloiding the day before um, a leg day, you might actually feel all right and you might be able to still be able to push towards certain intensity. So this is another reason why you may feel weaker on some chest days. Like it's, it's very noticeable, like with your bench press. And I know this happens a lot with a lot of people where they're like, look, I don't know why today I feel off with my bench, but then tomorrow I feel good. And it's just all over the place. There's no worry. Whereas with leg day or like, you know, deadlifts or squats, it's so consistent, okay? And so this might be a reason why. I'm not saying it's the only reason why. Obviously, there's a lot of factors that come into play when this occurs. Now, I have talked a lot about... um you know, getting stronger and how to lift in the gym. Let me quickly run through my workout today. Today, it was a bench press. We're doing a lot of singles. I ended up dropping the weight to 140 kilos. Did some a 10 um, rep max and for 140. I've done 12 on it before, so, uh, but that wasn't, that was kind of fresh rather than hitting like 180 kilos for a few reps. So it's a little bit different. Um, got into some dips afterwards and then pendley rows as well too and then some pull-ups. So, um, started off obviously with my rows, but if you actually look at today's workout, it was actually predominantly more back um, stuff. So next week, my programming is changing. I'm off programming because I'm completely done. However, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be switching to a bit more time and attention program, give my joints a bit of a rest. But what I'm going to do with this time and attention program is I'm still going to be lifting a heavy set, but I'm not going to be doing a heavy set for reps, if that makes lots of sense, all sets, okay, I'm just going to be doing a singular heavy set, and then I'll leave it there, and then everything is going to be time and attention based, in order for me to uh, basically give my joints a bit of a rest, pump as much blood into the muscle, but I'm still keeping my strength there, um, with those heavy weights. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this episode. If you guys are loving the style of episodes where I bring in tips for you rather than rambling on about the actual workout sometimes, let me know, guys, because I want to help you guys as much as possible. This is what it's about. This is how I want to help you guys as much as possible. And I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that has uh, watched this. If you did like what you saw or heard, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and feel free to subscribe as well. Your boy is out. Peace.